There are many secret and high-tech developments happening in the world of military aviation. Today's aircraft are almost invisible to radar, have the stealthiest profiles ever, and can travel at hypersonic speeds. And that's only the stuff we know about. Who can even imagine what's being developed behind the closed doors of the ultra-secretive military tech companies? Today, we're going to have a peek at some of the planes that are out there in our skies and others that are on the way soon. Here are 20 deadliest upcoming fighter jets of the world. Number 20. The Russian fighter jet Su-57. The Sukhoi Su-57, which is known as Felon in NATO reporting, is a twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter plane that was developed by Sukhoi in Russia. It has come from the PAC-FA program, which was launched in 1999 to create a more modern and cost-effective alternative to the MFI project. Within Sukhoi, it's designated as the T-50. It is the first Russian military aircraft to integrate stealth technology and they're aiming to use the Sukhoi Su-57 to establish a foundation for a fleet of stealth combat planes, which is not exactly something that the rest of the world is likely to be all that thrilled about, to be honest. It was designed to succeed the MiG-29 and the Su-27 in the Russian military, and it's also being planned to be made available for international sale. The first prototype took flight in 2010, but the program did have some delays due to structural and technical challenges that were uncovered during the testing phase. The initial production aircraft suffered a crash before delivery, further adding to the woes of the development process. Eventually, the first operational Su-57 would join the Russian Aerospace Forces in December of 2020, and as of December of 2022, a total of 11 units have been produced, not including the prototype test aircraft. But there are likely more on the way all the time. This may be the secret stealth fighter that could have changed everything. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 Lightning II. Back in 2006, when it first launched, the F-35 was an absolute top-of-the-range, all-singing, all-dancing, best-of-everything combat aircraft. And it still is considered to be a pretty good plane. But time and technology continues its steady forward march, and new things just keep on coming into the defense scene. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a single-engine, single-seat combat aircraft with stealth technology that's designed for strike missions and aerial superiority. This aircraft has capabilities all across the whole spectrum of warfare, everything from intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance, all through to electronic warfare and air combat. This aircraft is the pinnacle of contemporary combat plane technology and has been designated a cornerstone of the United States and NATO air power for the foreseeable future. The United States intends to purchase over 2,000 of these aircraft until 2044, and they'll be the main core of the United States Air Force, the Navy, and the Marines in their tactical aviation plans for the next few decades. Number 18. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon And where the United States has the F-35, China is close behind with this, the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon. This is the Chinese Chengdu Aerospace Corporation's twin-jet stealth combat aircraft that was developed for use by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF. Its main purpose is to excel in air superiority while also being really good at precision strike capabilities. The Mighty Dragon began life back to the JXX program in the 1990s. The world got a proper look at it during the 2016 
China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. In February of 2018, the first J-20 combat unit would be established, so China became the first Asian nation and the world's second overall to have a functional stealth aircraft. When it comes to fifth-generation fighter aircraft, the J-20 is the third currently in operation after the American F-22 and F-35. Number 17. The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor was created by Lockheed Martin. It's an advanced American fighter aircraft that was developed specifically for the United States Air Force. It emerged from the United States Air Force's Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, initiative and was designed not only as an air superiority fighter, and who doesn't want air superiority, but also with capabilities for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. Lockheed Martin primarily handled the construction of the F-22's airframe and weapon systems, and the company oversaw the plane's final assembly. Then, Boeing contributed to the project by providing the wings, the aft fuselage, the avionics integration, and training systems, and in 1999, the aircraft took its first flight and underwent various designations like F-22 and F-A-22. It was officially introduced as the F-22A in December of 2005. Originally, it was intended for a purchase of 750 units, but the program was scaled down to 187 production aircraft in 2009 due to factors like high costs, a limited number of air-to-air -air missions during that period, and the emergence of the more cost-effective and adaptable F-35. A cheeky upstart, if you ask me. The final F-22 would be delivered in 2012. Number 16. The KAIKF-21 Barame the KAIKF-21 Barame was previously known as the more pronounceable and easier out-of-the-mouth KFX, but it's emerged as its current self with this new name. It was a South Korean-led initiative which had aimed to create an advanced multi-purpose fighter aircraft for both the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces. The aircraft's airframe has much greater stealth capabilities when compared to fourth-generation fighters, although it doesn't house weapons inside of it like its fifth-generation counterparts. However, there is a possibility that some internal bays might be added in later stages of development. It just keeps on getting new and shiny bits as time goes on. Led by the South Korean government with a 60% stake, the program's ownership is shared. Indonesia got a hold of a 20% share in 2011, while the remaining 20% is split amongst private partners, which includes the manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries. That is the KAI part of the name. This marks South Korea's second homegrown fighter jet project following the F-A-50. The first prototype would be revealed back in April of 2021 during a ceremony at their headquarters at an airport, and it was officially named the Barame, which translates to Young Hawk or Fighting Hawk in Korean. The initial testing flight took place on July the 19th of 2022, and production is set to commence in the year 2026. These things do take time, you know. Plans currently include delivering a minimum of 40 aircraft by the year 2028, and South Korea's deployment goal is 120 units by 2032. The aircraft is intended for export as well. In Indonesia, the corresponding program is referred to as the IFX Initiative, and the completed aircraft is expected to have the designation of F-33. Number 15. Shenyang FC-31 Gerfalcon The Shenyang FC-31 Gerfalcon, also known better as the J-31, is a Chinese mid-sized twin-jet fifth-generation fighter aircraft prototype created by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, or SAC. The SAC's official name for it is the Gerfalcon, but it's also been called the F-60 or the J-21 Snowy Owl in certain media outlets, and some military enthusiasts would term it Falcon Hawk. It's suffering a bit of an identity crisis, it would seem. The poor love. It's had more name changes than Kanye. The JXX naming in the Chinese military actually refers to programs that are funded by the People's Liberation Army, whereas the FC-31 was developed independently as a private endeavor by the aircraft manufacturer. Hence all of the great naming discombobulation to begin with. Number 14. 
The Boeing F-15 EX Eagle II. In 2018, the United States Air Force and Boeing began making noises about the F-15X, which is an enhanced F-15 variant that is based on the F-15QA. It's designed to replace older F-15 C and D models, and the upgrades were to include carrying more missiles, extra advanced avionics, ASA radar, and longer service life. Both single and two-seat versions were on the table during discussions, with the two-seat F-15EX eventually being chosen. It can be flown solo or by a pilot and WSO for more complex missions. Or just for company, you know. Everyone needs a friend, even big brave solo piloting sorts. Now, the 15EX is intended to maintain the fleet size because of the F-22's end in production and the F-35 production being fraught with delay. It may not fare very well against modern air defenses by the time that it gets to 2028, but it can handle homeland defense and deploy standoff weapons. The United States Defense Department ordered eight F-15 EXs for $1.2 billion back in July of 2020, and the first flight was in February of 2021, with the first delivery in March of that year for testing at Eglin Air Force Base. Named the Eagle II in April of 2021, the 2021 budget funded 12 more of these machines, and by May of 2022, 144 had been ordered, but the United States Air Force was considering reducing that to 80. Budget plans for 2024 include 24 more aircraft, reaching a planned fleet of 104. In April of 2023, the California and Louisiana Air National Guards decided to swap their F-15 C and D fleets for the F-15EX, and in May of the same year, it was announced that the 173rd Fighter Wing would transition to training F-35A pilots instead of F-15EX at Kingsley Field in Oregon. Number 13. The Dassault Rafale The Dassault Rafale has a name meaning gust of wind or burst of fire. It's a versatile French multi-role fighter aircraft which was built by Dassault Aviation. Boarding a snazzy twin-engine, canard delta wing design, the Rafale is positively jam-packed with an array of weaponry, and all of this allows it to excel in various roles like air supremacy, interdiction, reconnaissance, ground support, strike missions, anti-ship strikes, and even nuclear deterrence. The SALT affectionately calls it an omni-roll aircraft, and they would though, wouldn't they? During the late 1970s, the French Air Force and Navy had aimed to modernize their aircraft fleets. France initially partnered with other European nations for a joint future European fighter aircraft project but eventually pursued its own path due to different needs. You know, like the Beatles splitting up because they had creative differences. Dassault's technology demonstrator took off in July of 1986, marking the first of an eight-year flight test program that had paved the way for its development. The Rafale is fairly unusual in its focus on domestic production, which involves key French defense contractors like Dassault, Thales, and Saffron, Although it was originally planned for a 1996 service entry, the Rafale faced delays due to budget adjustments after the Cold War, so it took a bit longer to arrive on the scene than previously planned. This aircraft comes in three main variants, the single-seat land-based Rafale C, the twin-seat land-based Rafale B, and the single-seat carrier-based Rafale M. Introduced in 2001, it serves the French Air Force and Navy. Its export potential has also finally been realized with customers including Egypt, India, Qatar, Greece, Croatia, Indonesia, and the UAE. The Rafale has seen action over various conflict zones from Afghanistan and Libya to Mali, Iraq, and Syria. Number 12. The Eurofighter Typhoon The Eurofighter Typhoon is a European collaborative project having a main twin-engine design with a canard delta wing whatever that may mean. It was initially designed for air superiority, naturally, I mean, who wouldn't need that? But it's now a versatile multi-role fighter that was built in a collaboration between Airbus, BAE Systems, and Leonardo through Eurofighter The NATO Eurofighter and Tornado Management Agency is in charge of the project, and the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain 
are all their main customers. Development of the Typhoon began in 1983 with a future European fighter aircraft program, uniting several European nations together. This was still the era of the Big Bad Cold War, so requirements for these nations were slightly different than they later became. The aircraft's name was finalized in 1998 and it entered operational service in 2003, serving in various air forces, which included those of Austria, Germany, Italy, the UK, Spain, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. Kuwait and Qatar also placed orders, which totaled 623 aircraft by the year 2019. Designed for agile dogfighting, the Typhoon evolved to excel in air-to-surface missions with adaptable armaments like Storm Shadow, Brimstone, and Marte ER missiles. It had its first combat involvement during the 2011 Libya intervention, taking on roles like reconnaissance and ground strikes. Since then, it's been a primary air defense asset for several different nations. Number 11. The Sukhoi Su-35 The Sukhoi Su-35, known as Flanker E by NATO, encompasses two enhanced versions derived from the Su-27 air defense fighter. These are single-seat, twin-engine air superiority fighters with impressive maneuverability. Sukhoi Design Bureau conceptualized the aircraft, and Sukhoi has produced them. This plane was originally developed as the Su-27M by the Soviet Union. It inherited attributes from the Su-27, but also included canards and a versatile radar, adding multi-role capability. It took its first flight in June of 1988. After the Soviet Union's disillusion, it rebranded itself as the Su-35 to attract international buyers. The Su-35UB two-seat trainer, resembling the Su-30MK family, was also constructed. In 2003, Sukhoi started a second modernization of the Su-27 as a temporary solution until the Su-57 program had stopped messing about and finally matured. This updated version, also referred to as the Su-35, featured a redesigned cockpit, improved weapons control system, and thrust vectoring engines instead of canard. It performed its inaugural flight in February of 2008, although it was initially intended for export. The Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009. With a production model named Su-35S, China's People's Liberation Army Air Force has also secured orders. What a fun one that was to read. Number 10. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen The Saab JAS-39 Gripen, affectionately called the Griffin, is a nimble single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter made by Saab AB a Swedish aerospace and defense company. Sporting a delta wing and canard setup, it features relaxed stability design and fly-by-wire flight controls, with newer models being fully NATO interoperable. Over 271 Gripens of various models from A through F have been delivered. In 1979, the government initiated studies for an aircraft to replace the Saab 35 Draken and the 37 Viggen, leading to the JAS project which was aiming to produce a fighter, attack, and reconnaissance aircraft. The Swedish Air Force adopted it in 96 with upgraded versions that were equipped with advanced avionics and adaptations for longer missions entering service in 2003. A significant redesign, previously called the Gripen NG or Next Generation, a bit Star Trekky or Super Jazz, now referred to as the Jazz 39 EF Gripen, began its deliveries in 2019 for the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces. The changes since the C version included a larger fuselage, more potent engine, increased weapons capacity, upgraded cockpit, new avionics, electronic warfare systems, and other enhancements. It's all very shiny and exciting. Number 9. The Mikoyan MiG-29 This next aircraft is a twin-engine fighter jet that was designed in the former Soviet Union back in the 1970s. It was developed as a counter to the F-15 Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and it was the Cold War and everyone involved had to have the same toys as their enemies. These days, many MiG-29s have been adapted for multi-role fighter capabilities, 
They are regularly outfitted for air-to-surface weapons and other precision armaments. There are several different versions of the MiG-29. These are specialized for different missions like naval and multi-role. The MiG-29 has been updated and the MiG-35 is the most recent aircraft in its range. Unveiled at the 2017 Moscow Air Show, the MiG-35 comes in a single-seat and two-seat version and has advanced avionics and weapon systems, which is apparently a rather substantial improvement over early MiG-29 variants. A distinctive feature is its optical locator system. This reduces the reliance on ground-controlled interception while enabling independent multi-role missions. The first two serial production MiG-35 aircraft went into service in 2019. Number 8. The HAL Tejas LCA The HAL Tejas, which means radiance in English, is a single-engine delta-wing light multi-role fighter that was designed to serve both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. Starting out as the light combat aircraft program in the 1980s, it was supposed to replace the aging MiG-21s, but eventually became part of a more broad fleet modernization effort. In 2003, it was officially named Tejas. In fact, it's the smallest and lightest of its class of a contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. It gained initial operational clearance in 2011 and final operational clearance in 2019. The first squadron, number 45, replaced their MiG-21s with aircraft in 2016. Number 7. The F-A-18EF Super Hornet Next up, we have the Super Hornet. These are a bunch of supersonic twin-engine fighter aircraft that were developed from the McConnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet for the United States Armed Forces. These jets are also employed by the Air Forces of Australia and Kuwait. The Super Hornet first flew all the way back in 1995, and production officially began in 1997. The jets were the replacement for the U.S. Navy's fleet of Grumman F-14 Tomcats when they were retired in 2006. The main feature of the Super Hornet is survivability. It's a balanced design that has radar signature reduction measures, but also incorporates advanced electronic warfare capability and significantly reduced ballistic vulnerability as well. It has a reduced radar cross-section from the front and rear, but does not rely on this for its protection overall. The aircraft has a whole bunch of other features to keep it intact in combat situations. Number 6. The Grumman F-14 Tomcat This plane is an American carrier-capable fighter aircraft known for its twin-engine, twin-tail design and variable sweep wings. It took its inaugural flight on December 21st of 1970 and would be deployed aboard the USS Enterprise in 1974, succeeding the F-4 Phantom II. In September of 2006, the United States Navy would retire the F-14 replacing it with the Boeing F-A-18EF Super Hornet. And today, some of these F-14s are on display all throughout the United States. This is also the plane that featured heavily in the 1986 film Top Gun starring Tom Cruise. Producers of the movie had paid the U.S. Navy $886,000 for the use of the aircraft in the film, and it cost $7,600 per hour to fly the plane in the movie. The iconic aircraft popped up again in the 2022 sequel, Top Gun Maverick. Number 5. Mitsubishi F-2 This is the F-2 support fighter aircraft. It was designed in a joint development venture between Japan and the United States and was created principally to form part of the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. This plane is a multi-role, single-engine fighter-type craft. It was created by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Lockheed Martin Aeronautics. Mitsubishi played a central role in the development of the F-2's integrated electronic warfare system. This included the mission computer and the radar system itself. And then there are the weapons and all the stuff that was supplied by Lockheed Martin. These would include the M61A1 Vulcan 20mm multi-barrel guns, and the option to place weapons in 13 other places. 
The fighter plane also carries a bunch of different sorts of bombs, along with some rocket launchers. Number 4. The Dassault Mirage 2000 Here we have a French fighter jet that was produced between 1978 and 2007. Not exactly upcoming, but then again, many of today's offerings have been rather all over the map in terms of timing. The Dassault Mirage 2000 is a supersonic combat aircraft equipped with twin DEFA 554 autocannons. These are revolver-type cannons that have 125 rounds each. These have a selectable fire rate that can be either 1,200 rounds per minute or 1,800 rounds per minute, which is probably plenty. There have been multiple upgrades in the Mirage 2000, which have included non-cooperative target recognition, carrying capabilities for all kinds of deadly stuff like rocket pods, iron bombs, and cluster bombs, and other variants can carry a nuclear standoff missile. Most modern updates have been specific to the different air forces for which the jet has been utilized. It's been employed all over the years by the armed forces of France, India, the UAE, Taiwan, Greece, Egypt, Brazil, Cutter and more. Number 3. The JF-17 Thunder The CAC-PAC JF-17 Thunder is also known as the FC-1 Zhilong, or Fierce Dragon, and is a lightweight single-engine multi-role combat aircraft developed through a collaboration between China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation and Pakistan Aeronautical Complex. The aim was to replace several existing aircraft like the Mirage 3 and 5 and other ones, and it's designed for various tasks like interception, ground attack, anti-ship operations, and aerial reconnaissance. You know, all the usual airplane junk? The name JF-17 signifies Joint Fighter 17 in Pakistan's vision, marking it as a successor to the F-16 while the Chinese name FC-1 stands for Fighter China-1. Equipped with an array of weaponry including air-to-air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles, guided and unguided bombs, and a 23mm twin-barrel autocannon, the JF-17 is powered by a Gazal WS-13 or Klimov RD-93 after-burning turbofan engine, achieving a top speed of Mach 1.6. Serving as the backbone of the PAF and complementing the F-16 at a lower cost, the JF-17 Block II variant costs around $25 million. A bargain. I'll take three. Number 2. The Saab 37 Vigan The name of this aircraft means Thunderbolt and Tufted Duck. It's weird, but it is Swedish, and it seems to have been designed to have the properties of both and then some. The Saab 37 Vigan is a single-seat, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft designed and produced by Saab in Sweden. These planes were produced between 1967 and 2007 and were developed to perform the roles of both fighter bombers and strike fighters, as well as aerial reconnaissance, maritime patrol, interceptor, and two-seat trainer versions. Now, these aircraft did have a crew of one, measured 53 feet and 10 inches in length, and had a wingspan of 34 feet 9 inches, they could reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.1, which is remarkably slower than many of today's hypersonic aircraft. They are equipped with a 30mm Orlikon KCA cannon with 125 rounds and could carry a combination of different missiles depending on the requirements of the forces and the mission. These days, the Vigan has been retired and has been replaced by the more advanced Saab JAS-39 Gripen that we saw earlier on. Number 1. The Chengdu J-10 This plane is also known as Firebird by NATO and is a versatile medium-weight single-engine combat aircraft designed for all-weather operations. Featuring distinctive delta wing and canard configuration, it utilizes fly-by-wire flight controls. Primarily built for air-to-air -air combat, the J-10 is also capable of carrying out strike missions and is about as scary and mean as all the other fighter planes that you've seen today. That's the thing, if one country gets a shiny new toy, 
all of the other countries want one as well. That's all from the dangerous skies for today. Which of these fighter jets fascinated you the most, and which one gives you the most fear? Let me know all about it in the comments down below, check out the other cool things on the screen, and I will see you next time.